Hi everybody and welcome to a new weekly vlog. If you're wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses indoors, we've just got back from the shops. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick uh, what we've bought haul. But it is a new week and tomorrow we go to Manchester and hopefully we're going to go to a John Lewis, and a, a big John Lewis and a big Marks and Spencer's department stores. Oh, it's going to be fabulous. Okay, what's in the bag? We've got a, quite a varied shop, to be fair. Right, lunch. So we've got, uh, we found a little, little um, baguette shop. This one's crab baguette and Matt's had tuna and sweet corn. The crab looks gorgeous. What else have we got in here? Oh, we've got, a, okay, we've got the correct sized Old El Paso enchilada kit. Because we didn't realise last time we bought the big family one. We ended up with 12 enchiladas <laughs> between us. Um, snowdrops, I want to push those in the pots that I already planted because we didn't have any. Um, ooh, this is a jar. It's only £2.50 from B&M Bargains and we're going to put the uh, little cotton pads in them. I'm panic buying candles in case we have power outages. So, yeah, Matt just wants his food. So, <laughs> so yeah, I've, these are actually quite good. £7 for four of them. They're unscented and I think um, that they might be a lifesaver. So, oh, I can see Molly outside. Oh, Bo has been crying to go out again. But the fence is being done Monday. So that's good. Also, I've got the duvet uh, on dry outside because I already washed it last uh, a few days ago. Molly was sick on it in the night. So I've had to wash that. So she's in shame. Shame on you, girl. She looks shame, doesn't she? Not. There we go, a closer look at the prawn baguette. Not the prawn baguette, the crab baguette. Look at it, ooh, that looks gorgeous. Yummy. Really big shout out to our video sponsor, HelloFresh, where you can use our discount code linked in our description box below, Elliot and Matt 50, to get 50% off your first box, plus 35% off the next three, plus free, free gifts. Dine in this autumn, like us and be a master chef in the kitchen. Learn how to cook restaurant-inspired recipes for you and your loved ones. HelloFresh was founded in 2012 and is the UK's number one recipe box delivery service. There are easy to follow and step-by-step -step recipe cards, which mean that you gain valuable cooking skills and confidence in the kitchen. There is a weekly menu with over 37 recipes to choose from different cuisines and dietary preferences. The ingredients are freshly sourced seasonal produce from local British suppliers wherever possible. HelloFresh is a quality service for wallet friendly prices from just £3.25 per meal per person. I think Matt has done a fantastic job because that looks pretty much identical. As you can see from our clips, it is so, so easy. But now we need to actually taste. So, what are we going in with? I'll go with the carrot. Ready? Mmm. 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 Oh, that's really, really good. Mm. Mm. And also, you can tag us on Instagram and show us your creations. Ooh. Well, there you go, my lovies. I've mowed the lawn front and back um, in a fashion. But I have done it. It was quite long, so it did take a bit of getting through. But anyway, um, I may have to do one more cut, one more final cut before this the growing season is over. I don't know. I might be able to get away with it. I've also pegged out a load of washing. I, I've taken in and uh, changed that duvet bag on. Yes. Oh, look at this beautiful washing, how it's pegged out. There's something, there's an air of domestic bliss. Oh, don't look at the underpants, my loves. Don't look at, oh, there's, there's one of Matt's on the line as well. We don't want to get a close up of one of those. Yes. Well, let me know. Um, if you're in a relationship, who does the washing? Who washes the undercrackers? And what do you do when you get to your partner's underwear? Do you look? Do you look? Or do you not look? Or do you just quickly put it in? Or do you hold it on one of those litter picker things at arm's length and flick them in the washing machine like this? What do you do? Do let me know. R Molly's outside. She ran in when I started mowing. But here she is, the princess. Hello. How are you doing, my sweetie? Back out now that I've stopped mowing. So anyway, I've run out of space in my green bin for all this. So that's going to have to stay there until bin day, which is only Tuesday. So um, I've moved it off the lawn. So it's on, it's on the dirt and it's on the path, on the patio. So that'll have to go in the green bin um, on Tuesday. But we still have some roses kind of 
threatening to come. Sometimes these roses can flower until as late as... I mean, I've seen roses on roses in December. So, you know, it can happen. But anyway, we're enjoying a little bit of sunshine. It rained yesterday terribly. Um, I am going to put the snowdrops. All I'm going to do is I'm going to push them in. So, obviously, you know I've got bulbs under these. So I'm just going to get the snowdrops and just poke them in. They only have to be about two inch, two inches down. So look at the geraniums as well. They're still really vibrant in colour. Looking gorgeous. Okay, so yes, let me know. Um, who does the washing in your household? And what do you do when you get to the undercrackers? Um, still, what bugs me most about people and their washing is leaving pegs on the line. Yes, if you're a person who leaves your pegs on the line, shame on you, that's number one. Second, you need to change your wicked ways. You need to go outside right this instant and take in your pegs and buy a peg bag. Also, look around. What do your neighbours do? If they leave their pegs out, then maybe, my love, you need to consider changing postcode. Yes, maybe you need to move area. And if you do take your pegs in and your neighbours don't, at least you can feel an air of superiority over them. Yes, they're at number 23 next door. You're ten times a better person than her, just because she's left her pegs on the line and you've taken yours in. Yes, it's all about standards, my loves. Yes. Molly agrees, don't you? She always takes her pegs in. Right, just filling up with fuel and then we are hitting... No, we're going to go to McDonald's for McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> Probably at the drive through And then we're going to head to Manchester. Um, and yes, it's going to be good fun. Oh, here's Matt. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh no, um, something, I've just noticed something a little bit down below, and um, anyway, I'll just, let's just say I've experienced some personal growth. So, um, yes, this has happened, what on earth? I've been out all day like this and I haven't got a change of jeans. Womp womp. It's, it's not the mince pies! No, it's not those mince pies, that's diet food. McDonald's, we stopped at a service station and we've got um, a pret, we've got a coffee. I love this one. This is the Italiano Prosciutto, whatever it is. It's a lovely. And Matt's had um, tuna. tuna. Here we are, John Lewis. Got a whole Joseph Joseph section, so we're really loving this one. That's um, really good for our possibly utility. Uh, yeah, no, I prefer not the stainless steel. This one. That one's really lovely for our side. Yes. That yeah. One. yeah, that one. How much is it? Lots of scents selection. I've been looking for a pumpkin, um, yeah, but they don't seem to have any pumpkin. I want something autumnal. They've got some of the Christmas scents in, but we haven't really got what I'm looking for. Hmm. Christmas in John Lewis. <gasps> Look at all these gorgeous things. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Wow. So pink is obviously in. Oh, these are so cute. Look at those. Aren't they cute? Oh. Wow. I love Christmas decorations. Um, I don't know where we'd put the giant bauble. Oh, we could hang it from somewhere. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really cute. Look at that. That's so cute. Wow. They're so go They're gorgeous. Everything is so beautiful. Wow. Ah. Uh, Oh look, flamingos! We can have a flamingo. Oh look, there's Santa in the bath. Sheila, look at that one. Oh wow, we've got, we've got angels and all sorts. Oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. Do we need a mushroom? Oh, you know, I really, I, I quite like these um, shiny little kitsch ones. Um, wow. Oh, we've got round here. Where's all the white stuff? There. Because we, we need, I need feathers. I'm after, definitely after fe Oh, wow. Little house. <gasps> Little house on the prairie. Wow. Oh, oh look at all these tinsels. I love them. Oh, that's cute. How much is that? Three It's not, it definitely won't be free. Uh, oh, oh, I love that. That's so cute. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh, that's cute. What's that? It's a frame phone. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, look at the hedgehog. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. I see. I seen something else as well. Liverpool. Place over there as well. Okay. Oh, look here, Matt. Oh wow. oh wow. Wow. I don't know, but um, wow. Oh, this place is just gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, look at the cake. Oh wow. I do like. Oh look, there's a donut. There's a cat. Oh wow, look at all these. Oh my goodness. Is that, that's a croissant. That's a croissant. There's a toaster. There's a toaster. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is amazing. I'm, I'm living and I'm loving. A mixer. Oh wow. A cake, gingerbread. Oh. A whisk. Oh, that's so cute. Gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Sweet job. And there they all are there they all are in the tree. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh wow. I love John Lewis and their Christmas decorations really are the best. Wow. Oh the little polar bear. It looks like raw rick. It does look like raw Oh Right, I need white feathery things. I'm loving the big owl. He is so gorgeous. Look at him. Oh, oh look. Oh, they're all gorgeous. Look at him. Present. Present. Look at these. Oh, these are nice. I do like those. They're six pounds each. What's that? Oh, that's really adorable. Look at that. Oh, they are gorgeous. They really are. These are nice. These little um, claws. That mirror up there is gorgeous, £475 would look amazing above a fireplace. It's like the Hall of Mirrors. Oh, can do outfit of the day Ooh, in these the mirrors. Oh, don't look at my strawberry splits. Going down. Oh yeah, we're, we're looking for some bedside tables still. Day lunch. Well, let's do the gravy, shall we? Yay, today is the day that our garden becomes munchkin secure. <laughs> Bo will not be able to get out of that. Look at that going up, wow. Um, I'm really happy and impressed with it. Those uh, three panels have literally gone up in about an hour and a half. Um, so it's gone up really, really, really quick. So I'm very, very happy with that. It's also a sunny day. I've got some towels on the washing line. Ah, now I need to go and get some fuel, some petrol from the petrol station and some tea bags because we're out of tea bags. And that is sacrilege for a Brit. Oh, look who's come to investigate. Hello, you. You don't like the noise, do you? Oh, you can go and investigate later, can't you? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where's my sweet pea? Oh, I don't know where we're going. There you are. Hello. But you can investigate properly later, can't you? Yes, you can. <laughs> it's all your fault anyway, isn't it? It's all your fault going to have events. Yes. There we go, it's all done. Yay. And to be honest, it gives a lot more privacy as well. Um, but look, little kitty. We Well, for a start, we've actually got access now to the drain, which is down there, which is very, very, very important. Um, but no, this is perfect. And I don't think he's gonna be able to escape this now. So I've got some cleaning up to do. Obviously the patio is a little bit dirty now, but that's okay. I can uh, sweep up and then swill it all down and hose it, make sure it's all nice. The towels are in full drying mood. And yeah, so once the green bins have been collected tomorrow, I can put the rest of this hedge in the green bins and then that's, that'll all be that gone. But no, I'm very, 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 very happy with that. And obviously the, the orange will dull down and that will go a gray color, which is what's happened to the other fence. Freedom. Hello, <laughs> there you go. By the way, for those of you who don't know, um, Bo is a munchkin breed, which means he's got little legs. And the trouble that we were having with the um, with, with him escaping 
was that he could get out because he climbed the branches but he couldn't get back in so because he's got little legs they're actually viewed as prey animals by um from from big from larger prey animals like um, birds of prey they say they can get them and foxes and we do have foxes around here so we were just extremely worried about Bo um, because if he gets out <laughs> he can't get back in the other side because the level is a little bit lower on the other side and he can't jump the fence because munchkin cats can't jump very high but they can jump long um, and they're very clever and they do like to climb so that's like a munchkin trait um, and Bo is typical munchkin <laughs> they're also very vocal known for being quite vocal so we took the decision that I mean, really they are supposed to be indoor cats uh, they do advise that the munchkin breed is kept indoors but because we've got two big cats that do go out Bo was getting very um so he's going to explore now to see how he can get out Bo was getting very jealous of them going out so we did let him out in the old garden but we supervised him at all times then when, when we moved here we obviously wanted to enclose it so that he could go out by himself, which he did. Then he found the way out after about three months of peace. Uh, so we, we had to do this. So we took the responsible decision to uh, take care of our individual child's needs because they're all different. And oh, there you go. You're free now. Back to freedom. You can come and go as you please, can't you? Yes. Oh, I'm always having cuddles. Found a spot where he doesn't quite Ooh, know what to do with he's himself. A, is that nice? Is that nice? Oh. My little tongue pokes out. Oh, it does poke out. Oh. Oh, hello, darling. Right, it's... I'm going to show you what we just bought really quickly from John Lewis yesterday. So... Um, I got a new dressing gown. Now, this dressing gown is white. I don't have a white dressing gown. And it's when I tried it on, it's really, really, really lovely. It's like, it's one that you sort of put on when you want to dry yourself. Because it's halfway between, like, a fleece and toweling. Um, so, that is a nice new dressing gown that I will be using when I've gotten out of the shower. We have got some hot pink. My goodness, we've got some, a hot pink bath mat. The ones I've got at the moment are very, very absorbent, but almost too absorbent, and they kind of keep it in the water for a long time. So that'll be nice. We've got a new bed duvet cover set. Now, this was supposed to be for this room, for the spare bedroom, but we might try it in our main bedroom. So I wanted something to tie in with the curtains and the sort of jungle theme, which I think it will, but because in this room, there's going to be sort of pink um, pictures. So I wanted to introduce some pink, so hopefully that will do that. We've got some more hand towels in the hot pink because we needed them. So all in all, we had a few good finds from John Lewis. I do love John Lewis. I wish there was one a bit closer to us. I really do. Oh, wow. What do you think? That looks lovely. Doesn't it? <gasps> Woo! Because I was worried about the cushions not going, but they do. They do. And they really, really goes nicely with the curtains. Ooh. I love it, and this gold, and if you feel it, it feels really nice. Mm, ah, John Lewis, thank you. <laughs> no, it's gorgeous, I love it. Right, so we are having today our loft boarded out because we need space to put all the Christmas decorations. So we're using this system, it's the stilts with the boards. Uh, we're not doing it ourselves. <laughs> Our painter and decorator, who is amazing, can turn his hands to many things, including doing out the loft. So we're having the one half done. I think that will be enough for us to store things and Christmas decorations. That's actually quite big. It's quite deceptive on camera. There is also the option eventually of going over that way and doing the other half. Here is our chimney going up there. Uh, a little bit dusty and cobwebby. Need to vacuum it. Um, but yes, so this, there'll be like a little bit of a landing area here. And then I'll be able to walk all the way down there. Now I wish I'd had this light or another light fitted over there. I think I can see, there's enough to be able to see. Uh, but eventually I may just have another light fitted over there. Don't need to insulate any more in here because that's quite fine. The insulation is actually really, really good in this house. So the extra boarding should, should help even more. And there we have it, it's the next day and the loft is boarded out, or at least on this side anyway. So 
a, a really good job has been done. Look at this. It's immaculate. I've also got a little bit of a landing area there, just a little kind of step. Um, but this is going to store Christmas decorations, any childhood toys that I might want to bring from my parents' house that are stored up there currently. Um, so yeah, this is brilliant. Exactly what I wanted. Plans for the future. We can't insulate this house any more than it's already insulated. It's already got really, really thick insulation, uh, cavity walls being done, all that kind of thing. Um, and obviously the new extension is insulated to the hilt. But the one thing we could do is put some more insulation in the in between the, the um, roof joists. So I think we're going to get some Kingspan to do in between here. I might get an extra light put over there. And I'm going to have the same done over this side. I'm going to have it boarded out, Kingspan, another light put over there. Um, and then that will be the loft completely done but I don't think I'll have this done or the or the king's ban until next year possibly um but yeah this is basically our storage area for the moment brilliant for Christmas decorations that, that's really the main reason why we had this done now because obviously um we're going to have them from the old house they're still stored at the old house at the moment um and they will be coming here so perfect Good morning everybody, it is Friday and we we need to get our investigative hats on because overnight there is some, um, I cleaned the table yesterday, but overnight there's some um, water on the table, but there is a cat shape, you can see where the paws are, look, look at the paw marks, there's cat prints all the way over here, um, which indicates that there's a cat that sat on this table and then walked off. They've jumped from this side up, sat down and walked off. Um, it's def definitely not our cats because they've been in all night. So we have a phantom cat sitter somewhere, don't we, my loves? Right, so the garden. We still have some flowers, so I haven't taken them out. I'm going to leave them as long as I possibly can. The roses, we have, um, we have them there. They're still coming. I moved that little um, box bench down the bottom. And we've moved the table set, the patio set, over here. I think it does work a little bit better. Um, it's a bit lower down, doesn't look as um, up in the air. So we do like that there. We are going to get one of those corner sofa seats for up there. And we've moved the bench over here with the pots. So if I just zoom out, you can see, you can see that. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a nice day. I've got lots of editing to do, but I would like, I need to get get all these planted here. These are roses from the other house. Um, so yes, but it is looking nice. Oh my, no, wait a minute. Oh my God, let's just tell people I've made a major boo-boo. I've left toast in there on full heat for about 10 minutes. So are you ready for the reveal? I hope the alarms don't go off. What is it? Oh, I thought there'd be more smoke. But no, they are fully Do you reckon it's cut off? I know I've just turned it off. Oh, look at my toast. It really is toast. Oh my goodness. Anybody like burnt toast? Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Not. So after the big toast disaster, my London Sock Company has arrived uh, for this month. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that's the seasonal colour, like a red... It's time to walk brighter. Some of these are repeat socks. I like those grey ones. The blue ones, I've had these before. They're in a bit of a thicker sort of boot sock. Um, and that's a really nice texture as well. And I like this one. I can wear this kind of transitioning between the seasons. So that's good. But I am thinking of pausing my London Sock Company subscription. Um, might restart it again next year at some point. But I'm thinking, what can I do for a different subscription box. Um, perhaps I could try out some different things. So any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Something consumable, something I can use, um, or something practical for the house, that kind of thing. And I can finally update you on the birthday balloon. So if you didn't know, this balloon, I bought this balloon, um, this helium balloon for Matt's birthday back in July. It was a 4th of July and um, it lasted and it stayed up. So we kept it up for my birthday, which was August the 4th. And then it just stayed up and it stayed up and it stayed up. And it's been a bit of a running joke. How long 
Can the happy birthday balloon last? We were hoping it would get till Christmas, but no, it's over the past week it started to deflate, so we've moved it over here. Um, and it, it's almost down, there's not much more to go. So, probably by the next time we do a weekly vlog, there will be no more happy birthday balloon sad face. Okay, so it falls to me to end this week's weekly vlog because Matt is working, it is work day. Um, if you didn't know, uh, I of course work from home, Matt works from home, um, so that's what he's doing right now. I know this has been a very varied vlog, we've had Christmas, we've had loft, we've had garden, we've had all kinds of things, but this is, this is what life is, this is what daily life is is for many, many people. It's very varied and wonderful and varied and fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Another slice of our life. We will be back next week with another weekly vlog. I don't know what day because we're a little bit out of kilter with the uploads because obviously all the cruise vlogs and so I need to get back into a, into a set routine of sort of roughly when we put out a weekly vlog. Um, but I do hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from us, to you all, and goodbye.